now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, we started to crank up the intensity of thunderstorms late this evening, especially for folks south of Cincinnati. I think over the next couple of days, we're going to crank that threat up a little bit higher for more of the area. And before long, I do think we'll probably end up dealing with maybe a couple of clusters of strong to severe thunderstorms over the next couple of days. That being said, a matter of fact, already the Severe Storms Prediction Center has highlighted that there's at least a marginal risk for strong to severe storms tomorrow across all of the Ohio Valley. Now, the finer details have to be worked out because there's some smaller scale features that we really can't fine tune until tomorrow. But I do think, and I wouldn't be completely surprised if part of the Ohio Valley, and that could very well include parts of the tri state, is actually upgraded tomorrow to a higher risk of strong to severe storms. So that'll be something to tune into tomorrow morning and kind of keep an eye on as the day progresses. So at least as we go to bed tonight, we can certainly say there is a slight risk for all modes of severe weather as we go not only into our Wednesday, but but also Thursday as well, and probably even up into early Friday. It's a mild night outside and muggy too. Look at that dew point up there around 60. Temperatures hovering in the low 60s. We've got a light southwesterly breeze out there at 7 at this time. Here's Power of 5 Live Radar. It is on a clean sweep and it looks to remain quiet most of the night tonight. Here's the setup and it's going to stay this way for the next couple of days. We've had these balmy breezes out of the south bringing in increasingly warmer and more humid air. Let me give you an example. For one, today we had this cluster of storms that dove its way south through Kentucky. Now, tonight, we are watching new clusters of thunderstorms, one up across parts of Wisconsin and northern Illinois, another across parts of western Missouri. And here within the last hour or so, see new storms developing in Iowa. Any one of these three clusters could very well take an aim at the Ohio Valley first thing tomorrow. So the general rule will be for scattered showers and thunderstorms at almost any point tomorrow. So trying to pin down the exact timing will be difficult out there. You can see the warm front draped across the Midwest. To the north, it's in the 40s and 50s. To the south, it's in the 60s and 70s. And with more moist and, and humid air moving in, better and stronger storms are expected over the next couple of days around here. So here's a look at Futurecast. It's insisting that as we go towards 3 or 4 a.m., some scattered showers and maybe even a few downpours may try to develop across the area. This takes us through the morning rush. And again, you really can't pinpoint or completely place all the eggs in one basket on any time frame here because trying to track these clusters is very difficult until they get organized. But I do think, again, tomorrow there's a better threat for strong to severe storms across the area with a little additional heat and humidity that we haven't had the past couple of days. And this will basically replay not only tomorrow, but also into Thursday and probably even into Friday morning into the cold front finally comes through here. So 60 for a low tonight. Again, with maybe some scattered rain developing towards dawn again. And then tomorrow, peaks of sun, but heavier storms will also be the end result. 77 for an afternoon high. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Notice the next couple of nights, very mild in the 60s around here. Highs tomorrow and Thursday in the mid to upper 70s. And then it looks like a good chance of rain Friday morning will be followed by a cool down for Friday night and the start of the weekend. Right now, this all times out for a terrific looking weekend. A a little cool on Saturday in the 60s, but then back into the 70s on Sunday. All right, Kevin, thank you. The weekend looks great.